let's discuss what is GSM and CDMA and what are their differences. GSM or Global System for Mobile Communications is a standard that defines protocols for digital cellular networks used by mobile phones and other devices. It is one of the most widely used mobile network technologies worldwide, which is why Global is part of its name. GSM has been instrumental in standardizing network communications and establishing international roaming agreements between mobile carriers. This allows users to access mobile services in various parts of the world with ease. A key feature of GSM networks is the use of SIM card or subscriber identity module which identifies the user on the network. The SIM card allows user to switch devices simply by moving the SIM card to an other phone. On the other hand, CDMA or Code Division Multiple Access is another type of digital cellular technology that operates using spread spectrum radio communications. To simplify, CDMA creates a dedicated personalized connection between your mobile device and the network tower. With CDMA, your identity is tied to the phone itself, not a SIM card. This means that when you want to switch phones, your service provider has to update their system to recognize the new device. They keep a list of approved CDMA phones that can connect to their network. In contrast with GSM, your identity is linked to the SIM card, not the phone. So you can easily switch devices by swapping the SIM card in your phone without needing your provider to get involved or keep track of specific phones. CDMA has historically been popular in the United States and is known for providing reliable service, particularly in less densely populated areas. Also, it's important to know that some CDMA phones do have SIM cards, but it's for a different reason compared to GSM phones. CDMA phones with SIM cards typically support LTE 4G networks, which uses SIM card for authentication. LTE is a global standard, so even CDMA carriers like Verizon and Sprint, now part of T-Mobile, use these SIM cards for their 4G and 5G services. However, the core CDMA technology itself doesn't rely on SIM cards for device identity. In these phones, the SIM card is mostly for accessing LTE networks, while older CDMA networks still tie the phone directly to the service provider's system. CDMA does support roaming, but traditionally has been more limited compared to GSM, especially when it comes to international roaming. CDMA networks doesn't support SIM cards in the same way as GSM networks, which makes switching between networks or devices more complex. For CDMA, roaming often depends on agreements between carriers and is typically more restricted to regions where CDMA networks are available. GSM networks, with their widespread global use and reliance on SIM cards, generally offer more seamless international roaming experiences. However, in regions where CDMA is dominant, such as in certain parts of the US, domestic roaming is supported well, often covering rural or less populated areas where other networks might struggle. As you prepare for the CompTIA Plus Core 1 certification exam, it's important to remember that the key differences between these two technologies, GSM is known for its flexibility as the use of the SIM cards enables easy switching between devices and facilitates international roaming. And CDMA, meanwhile, is recognized for its strong network stability and wide coverage, which is especially beneficial in rural areas and also changing devices can be more complicated with CDMA.